Matt here. Welcome to another sesh on the artist's way. We are on day three of week four. And today we are spending more time getting clarity into ourself. Because when who we are feels clouded or ambiguous and then begins to be replaced with this clarity and understanding, the more easily we can come in contact with creativity. Since creativity is simply intrinsically woven into our basic nature. So the more we unwind all of the layers of misconception and the more we see the truth of who we are, part of which is creative, then the easier it is to be creative. And this is also why Julia shares that creativity, let me just tell, tell it like it is. People frequently believe the creative life is grounded in fantasy. The more difficult truth is that creativity is grounded in reality, in the particular, the focused, the well-observed, or the specifically imagined. And this is also partially why solitude and time for reflection and contemplation and meditation are so helpful. That said, morning pages are a great tool to do all that. So let's do it. <sighs> Starting from our first breath we are rewarded or punished based on how others want us to be, especially when it's coming from a place of love. So quite naturally, we give up who we are in return for conditional love and acceptance. And when we become attached to these ideas and beliefs of who others want us to be, we end up giving up who we are. We end up living a life that is not our own. And so our creativity gets muffled. That's why through this course, through this journey, we take time to intentionally reparent our artist child, our artist child so that we can recover that lost sense of identity, those pieces of us that makes us unique and naturally inspired to show up to life and be curious and share ourselves. So I hope you have fun with today's exercise. It's something I've done many times and have always loved revisiting. And that is to reflect back when we were eight years old. And what did we do? What did you like to do? What were some of your favorite things? And then take some time and write yourself a letter as if your eight-year-old self was writing a letter to your current self. What would you tell yourself? It's a fun exercise and it definitely helps um, kind of like unwind a lot of the beliefs and layers that we adopt and helps us get back to that essential core of who we really are. So enjoy the session. Ah, yes, enjoy the unexplored territory that is you. And as you spend time getting to know yourself, I trust that the creativity will naturally come. So thank you for joining me. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue to unpack what this creative recovery looks like. And it's unique and simply beautiful for everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on today's session. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, peace, love, and creativity.